Cult of the Lamb. It was revealed during Devolver's Insanity Fest. And, uh, well, I mean, it wasn't revealed, but it was announced that uh, there would be a demo and a release date. I've been uh, interested in this game since it was first revealed, whenever that was, I can't remember, but I saw it at PAX and it looked really interesting. I like the, um, the art direction, and um, here it is, in demo form, so let's check it out. I had some issues, it, it started at a massive resolution, so I had to fix that, but I think we good now. Actually, let me just remove the mouse cursor. So it's got like a storybook feel to it, like a pop-up book a little bit. It's got a um, little Paper Mario, very, very strong, like, color usage. I don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but it looks great. Good mix of 3D and, and flat sprites. Before us stands the last of its kind. All others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. Again, I, I really enjoy the uh, post-processing effects and the, the use of color in this game so far. The horizontal lines. You might not be able to see them over YouTube, but it looks awesome. Come closer, fear not. For though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death. Instead, they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask for is you start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. And I absolutely need to lower the game's volume a bit. Take the red crown which I once wore with it. You shall command the loyalty of followers and strike fear into the hearts of our enemies. Return to the land of the living, start a cult in my name, and begin recruiting followers. Once you have done so, you will see me again. Now go. Lowering the volume again. Sorry for the immersion breaking. Most of the time I lower games by 50% and that does it. Sometimes you, you gotta go a little more than that. The game looked solid, but I wasn't sure how the um, the combat would turn out, and uh, we'll see. So far, so good. Alright. It's got a bit of a Hades feel to it, so far. A, a little tiny bit. Also, quite different, but... Looks like you get to choose the rooms you, you go to, and... For not, I am Ratau. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith, and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. So I wonder how much of this is Isaac, how much of it is Hades in regards to the, uh, the randomness and like the choices you get over your, uh, you know, your, your inventory and build and stuff. But I think it's releasing in early August, so... Let's 
distance. I mean, it's pretty close. I have to have some kind of, like, invincibility right now for the tutorial, because I'm not taking any damage. I do wonder if any of this crap has stuff in it. But yeah, I mean, I'm predictable. I love games like this. I don't always get hooked on them. Sometimes they're a little too samey, but... You know, if they're, if they're Hades level... Then yeah, that's a different story. Oh, that looks awesome. We have reached, we have nearly reached safety, but look ahead, another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them and they will have no choice but to join your new cult. Almighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual? I mean, the, the gameplay... It has a... Like, a kind of, um... There's a nice heft to the, the sword play. Like when you make contact with an enemy's skull, it's nice. We have reached safety. You have done well. The Red Crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. I will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. to start your own cult in this game. This hallowed ground, which once was mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into a warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. One can collect lumber, one can collect stone. Getting some screen tearing. Yeah, the bottom of the screen's a little scummy. I don't know if that's something that... Well, let's see what my settings are. Well, V-Sync is on. Yeah, just a little choppy and weird, even though V-Sync is on. And I think a 3080 can handle this. Convert me to your cult, I will follow your teachings immediately. Jolbrian, choose form. Oh, you can even choose the, uh, <laughs> the form of the follower. That's cool. You can choose, so you're gonna be a green one. You can just randomize too, if you don't feel like going through. Traits as well. Coprophilia, gain 10 fate when falling ill. Are, wait, are you into... You can gather wood. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals. You can also do this. I think, from what I understand, these elements are kind of light. Which is good because, you know, I, I wouldn't want to... Personally, I think is good. If the, uh, um, the town building and, like... You know, taking care of your villagers stuff is, like, kind of simplified, I'm fine with that.
There you go. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but um, I've been watching Stranger Things. I found a way to watch it, even though I canceled my Netflix. I mean, I am watching it on Netflix, of course. But it's actually pretty good. I think I like it better than 2 and 3. And Stranger Things, I was never, like, obsessed with it. Like, some people, like, wear Ego hats. I just think it's, you know, it's a good show. When it's at its best. And, um... I think the season has been really good. It does a pretty good job at balancing a million characters. Okay, they need to eat. The hunger of your cult can be seen in the top left. Others will begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that will pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds, seeds can be purchased or, or found whilst crusading. Collect berries and then cook a meal. So, yeah, it's it's a pretty good season so far. I'm only three episodes in, but I'm enjoying the, um, the various subplots and the, the spookiness. It's like, you know, trying to deliver what people are familiar with, but doing something new is tough. But I think it's, it's kind of a good thing to do. Each season feels like its own unique story. And honestly, Stranger Things could have been an anthology series with different characters. Which is why I feel it is good they're doing something a little different this season. But I don't, I barely remember last season. Like, I remember there was a lifeguard. Someone got pulped at a mall. So that's nice. Build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more golds. You can find when crusading through the lands of the old faith. The one who waits has been trapped by the four bishops of the Old Faith. Each of them guard a chain that binds him to a realm beyond. We have conjured openings in their realms. It's your task to track them and slay them. Also, new. I'm recording this the day the boys show episode three, uh, four dropped, and that show has been very, very good, in my eyes. I think they've... retained what made the show interesting, and kept the storylines... Like, it makes sense for the characters. The characters still feel like themselves. Maybe, like, one or two things I noticed that were a little weird, but... I gotta say, mostly, I've just been really happy with the show and really impressed with it. Your good, uh, godly blood was spilled. Here, did death no longer wish to wait? Oh, so the more followers you have, the more praying you can do to the altar to open up different paths. That's interesting. Okay. But yeah, I mean, there's some screen tearing still in this area, which is weird. Again, V-Sync is on. Turn V-Sync off. It could be also that I'm... This is the weird resolution thing I was saying. It, it defaults to some bizarre resolution that is most certainly not the resolution I use. It feels weird about the color. Did it do crazy resolution and it just didn't tell me? I, you know what? It's... Good that I... Yeah, it did. Wh whose resolution is this? This isn't my resolution. And then, like, you have to wait for it to change the resolution when you switch. Please, um, if you're watching this, Devolver or whoever's developing this, uh, just make it so we can pick the resolution and then click apply. Because I'm stuck in I can't see what I'm doing mode, if you know what I mean. We still have screen tearing. Um, I don't know, actually. I, I can't tell at the moment, but... 
Now the controls feel like a little late. Ah, it's weird. When slaying a foe, summon a ghost that will attack nearby enemies, or projectile that spreads black icor upon landing. So yeah, I know this is like... Oh, you can't even see! That is interesting. Well, something feels weird anyway, the graphics feel, like, blown out, so... Sorry about that, viewers, but, um, I didn't really do much, I just chose a sword. Now the screen tearing is gone, and the colors are back to normal. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not a smart person, so I don't know what that is, but something weird's going on. Entering the lands of Bishop Leshy. Is this a... callback to Inscription? Makes me wonder. That effect looks cool. I, I like the little ghost friends. And yeah, you can just pick up grass and stuff. So there's there's some reason to break the, you know, to attack grass. Not just because you're a fan of Link. Link Zelda. Is that a soul heart? I think that's a soul heart. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. One percent chance to let deal critical hit. Reveal the map. Damages everything when on screen when hit. Oh, there's a lot of these. Back rate increased. can't get any of them, but... Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promise, liberator of the one who waits. The cards showed me once, many lifetimes ago. Always join your cards, Lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. You get to choose between one and two. I see. Whatever ones you've unlocked, you get to choose from. That's just an easy one, soul heart. Um, I would prefer a screen shake slider. Mm. Oh, that's great. Perfect. Like, I still like the screen shake, but a little less is, I think, I think, perfect. Statue of the Mighty Lamb. Acquired Lamb Flag statue. Oh, so, so this is stuff that you can decorate your town with. This is gonna get very, very addicting. Oh boy. I can already sense it. So there's a weapon there, but there's foraging here. Oh man. Alright, let's forage. Like porridge. Maybe you can upgrade your axe so that it's faster. God, I, I fucking love the, um, the little, like, effects on, like, chopping a tree or just attacking. Like, lots of little things really stand out. But yeah, this game definitely has Isaac DNA all over it. Like, didn't mean that in a weird way. Though that is kind of on brand for Isaac.
Oh, that's how you do that. Okay. Cool music, too. Yes, ghost friends. Fertilizer. Step forward, beast from the swirling mists of chaos that surround. Allow me to regard you wholly. Mm, you carry the weight of ageless centuries upon such diminutive shoulders. Yet, what is this? It seems your stature is deceiving. The weapon is not without the hands that wield to uh, fell enemies to defend honor, to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron forged in everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promised liberator. Chance to heal the wielder upon uh, using the life force of slain foe. Chance to deal critical hit. When attacking enemies. Chance to deal critical hit when attacking enemies. So this is faster. This has got less range. You can recycle your old weapons, at least. So it doesn't look like you have a choice of, like, inventory to keep, like, one or two weapons on- You know, like, two weapons on hand so you can, like, cycle through. But knowing how much damage I'm probably going to end up taking, the Vampiric Dagger seems like a good choice. It seemed like it might have been something, but it was not. What the hell's happening? How can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb. As your kind, as all your kind were, and yet here you stand before me unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be? I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. It doesn't look like the same Leshy. But, you know, we know Leshy is the god of the forest or something, so... I don't know. Looks like it works pretty well. The lifesteal. Damage is everything on screen when hit. Or, 10% chance to deal critical damage. The combat is relatively simple. It's just one button plus dodge. Uh, flaming shot two. I'll take that. I wonder if there's any weapon or upgrade that allows you to charge your attack or anything like that, but at the moment it just seems like dodging and attacking is the main focus of the game's combat. But I see two X's up there, so that, that might mean there's more things that you can do and get. 
You have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause, almighty leader. By the blood of the Great Ones, destroy the Red Crown. God, the fireball's awesome. Yeah. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult and I will follow your teachings faithfully. <laughs> Gold nugget. Choose follower form. Stone. Gold nuggets. Definitely a little on the easy side early on, which I'm okay with. Like, especially knowing the game is going to get more difficult, and this is normal mode. But, um, there are some games like this that just start you off, and you're just fucking brutalized so early. But I'm also pretty used to playing games like this. This is my wheelhouse. Pretty solid, almost 30 minute demo. And uh, I understand the game mechanics now. So... Just a couple things I wanted to say. This game is cool. And I'm already on board. It takes the uh, familiar elements from games like Isaac and Hades and, you know, all the other games that we played. What was that Undermine game? Um, the combat is, is good, if a little simple. But I like the follower system. I like being able to upgrade your, your cult. I think that's pretty neat. Game looks gorgeous. Weird, cool music. I mean, it's pretty much everything I wanted it to be. The only issues I have at the moment are pretty much the UI stuff with the resolution and some screen tearing. <laughs> That's it. Like, other than that, it seems really polished. And uh, I hope that the game is as good as it seems. So, yes, very, very good demo. And thank you for watching. Welcome, everyone, to Phobolus Alpha Test. I hope I'm saying that right. This game was sent my way by the dev, and uh, apparently it's a mix of Quake and Silent Hill, which signed me the fuck up. So it's an alpha test, and um, I figured I would just give this its own segment and hope it's good, and we'll give it a shot. Now, I know that this is going to be, like, super early, and I will offer my feedback without trying to be as, you know, without being annoying. I'll try to be as fair as possible. Also, we've got some intentionally low FPS. Which I think works. And a PS1 vibe, but without the glitchy, like, hard to look at graphics, which I am nostalgic for and sometimes it works in games but I think it's cool that this is actually somewhat like reminiscent oh it's reminiscent of PS1 without it being like kind of bound to that style and it invokes the PS1 feel now I'm just gonna say right off the bat the movement is uh, a little fast but I'm not sure what kind of pace the game is going for. So we got old computers. That stuff. Um, oh, okay. And it's like kind of a grungy environment. 
and the snow reminds me of Metal Gear Solid a little bit, but um, it's kind of... Interesting clash of styles here. Okay, that's that's health. I, I do feel like the momentum of the game is a little floaty. But again, alpha test, I don't know if that's um a direct like choice. Like especially when you when you strafe you feel it, but a little tiny tiny bit fast, and I never complain about fast. But uh it's okay, I'm 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 still digging it. Okay. But yeah, Quake and Silent Hill, sure. Though I wonder how much the gameplay is going to be Quake versus Silent Hill, because those are very, very different styles of game. <laughs> I like the Chozo statues of this game. Okay. So it looks like the gameplay is going for a slight Quake skew. I keep trying to reload. I like whatever the fuck this is. Oh, there's a shotgun there. Where was that? Where'd that shot come from? might be too late, but I wanted you to know something. Check the controls real quick. Oh. Oh, so far there's really just shoot and move kind of stuff. The question is, do I put this in its own segment, in its own video, or do I like add this to Like a, a like a feature of some kind, you know, with other games. I guess it all depends on how long this is. But yeah, the style clash actually really works for me. Like the fucking sconces, the torches, the weird floating women, the fucking meat brain in the sky, and yet computers. And like then like medieval quake esque huh. gates and stuff, like perfect. <laughs> I do think readability on enemies in the dark is a little bit rough, but I also think that might be intentional, and I think that's okay, because a game like this, you want to be surprised a little bit. Again, I'm just analyzing, I'm not bitching necessarily, I think there's a lot of, a lot of merit to the design choices so far, and I'm not a game developer, I'm just some dumbass that plays a lot of video games, as you know. As you know! But so far... I think this is interesting. You're late. Straggling like a debutante. Character model looks cool. 
your faces. We have no eyes in this place, and yet I see you against the light. This is different than what it was before. Can't use my weapons. Does that seem different? What the hell? The fuck? Oh, it fucks with your brain. And I have gone. Find for me shade of a bow bent far under heaven. Or it could be bow, but I just figure bow. Like a boat. Like these little computer gremlins. Fucking noises. <laughs> the shotgun might be a little too good, and I normally never say that because I love like overpowered shotguns in video games. So that looks like armor. Oh, maybe I'm not even supposed to be in here, but I can't pick it up. It looks like armor. Wait, is this the beginning? It's a good way to make use of already made level assets. Oh, another new weapon I get to check out. This is the game submachine gun. The fuck is it? it I thought I was gonna shoot a hook. I was like, is this a grappling or a grapple weapon? I like the the wep the looks of the weapons are simple and quake like, but I'm um, I'm into it. I I love low poly shit. But yeah, I do think um the game's visuals are the right kind of PS1 reminiscent, while still doing, you know, some stuff that could not be done on PS1. I think, uh, as a lot of games that do this style have, options would be nice. Like, if I wanted to, you know, go 60 FPS just as an option, even if it kills the effect. There have been a lot of games that have done that. But yeah, this is pretty dope. This is pretty dope. And again, it looks like the level got recycled into a slightly different configuration and with enemies, like more enemies. So I don't... I don't know if I looped around or if the game just fucked with my head.
Okay, well, this is really short, so this is definitely going to get added to a compilation. But I think this is awesome, and uh, I wish you the best of luck. Again, little suggestions from my point of view, the Jedi Revil. But no, little little things that I notice, like control wise, and you know, just stuff with the um, the visuals. Like, I have faith in this developer and this team to work it out because this is really good. This is a great start. I like the concept. Um, going for like more action oriented gameplay while doing the Silent Hill vibe is definitely interesting. So many games go for the Lovecraftian thing, or Hell, or Cyberpunk. So this is, I think, pretty unique, and, and a uniquely kind of fucked up and weird, and I'm all for that. So yeah, thank you everyone for checking out Phobolus. Pretty good first alpha test. And let's hope we see more of this in a couple years, or whenever. Alright, I'm sure there will be more games as a part of this video, so stick around for those. Centuries ago, there was a fracture between the demon world of Helmoth and our Midverse. Battles were fought for years along that line between the demon armies and the Knights of the Thunderfist, the legendary defenders of the Midverse. The black metal smith, Mordeth, forged a guitar capable of blocking the demon from our world. The Chronocaster. Mordith took the guitar to the top of the tower and shredded his ancient warrior solo, locking up the fracture. Uh. The demon was shut out of the midverse, and the ones left behind fled into the shadows. The fracture was locked in time. The demon had been stomped out. But Mordith and the Chronocaster never came down from that tower. But Mordith and the Chronocaster never came down from the Shockmaster. So here's this thing. It's called Power Chord. It's a demo. Uh, I, I usually wince at games about rock and roll for some reason. I can't really articulate why, but this looked very polished. And relatively self-aware, and, and that's great. So, I mean, it's it's cool. At least it seems cool. We're gonna find out if it is. Something's wrong with the fracture. Whatever magic has been holding it back isn't holding it like it used to. And everyone's seen it slipping, including those damn demons. Now, for the first time in years, demons? Demon? You're gonna have to grab a couple bouncers and meet them at the gate. Or Iron Cast, the Drum Shield, and last night of the Thunder Fist, and Grimnir Brawl Fist. Wow, these are good names. Who doesn't need a reason for revenge? Now bounce that demon fast before it causes any trouble. Okay. So what is this game? What is Power Chord, you're wondering? Cards! Yep. Uh, wields powerful barriers to defend his band. These barriers will block an entire hit, no matter how much damage it does. So you have a band, but it's Slay the Spire. <laughs> this bitter brewmaster never saw a hit he didn't want to take. Gains rage by, uh, charges by taking damage, and then deals it back as extra damage. So, I guess uh, how much energy we have four in that guitar pick there, you can see. I, I told you Slay the Spire had a, like a really, like surprisingly big impact on indie games in various ways. This one being a little more overt. What is unstable? Exhausts one played or automatically at the end of the turn. Summon disappears from the deck at the end of the battle. Okay, so we'll, we'll just add armor to this dude wearing a kilt with a big heavy mustache and beard. Yeah, I mean, I refused to play this for like a couple weeks. You know, it was sent 
to me uh, like the you know promo email and I was like okay do I want to play this uh, it's cheesy like rock and roll game and then I just thought about it. I looked at the, the video I'm like yeah maybe I do hey monster train ended up being amazing good work that demon won't forget the time it died in a cloud of ash and smoke but it wasn't alone if this is gonna work you're gonna need a bigger band Thank you for playing the demo. Medical enthusiast on vocals and the closest to a healer you're gonna find in this whole damn city. So, okay, having a party. Okay, so having a party, but also cards. New challenger blocks your path. Screeching minion, weak singers that can't hold a note alone but can power up the entire demon man. So it looks like the complexity is definitely up from Slay the Spire. So you get these cards. He's happy to give help. Takes as much health as she gives. Power up bandmates by using vampiric abilities that heal by dealing damage. You're gonna need to build charges to gain any momentum in a fight. Charges count down by one per turn, so make sure you use them. Charge. Are these the charges? Huh? Grants two power charges to a single ally. Increases the damage per hit. Okay, so now this dude's damage is gonna go up. And we'll summon a barrier on her. And end the turn. That will deal three damage. A little, um, darkest dungeon in here, too. Not too much, but rare attack. Deal four damage to a single enemy and heal up to four health if health damage is dealt. Okay. And we'll add another barrier here and end the turn. Iron Fist. Oh yeah, I'll bet he has rare acid. This is the Cinema Sins guy. <laughs> Okay, so spotlight stealing armored brutes. These drummers will take the hits meant for other demons. Shinobi 13 uh, toxins, extra damage to enemy, enemy who has uh, poison or corrosion applied. I will say the complexity is very high very early. I don't know how that is going to end up in the full game, but. When you have something like Slay the Spire, you start with one character. There's only ever one character, and you have the most basic of cards and one special ability. Like, one special card. And you have, like, a little uh, passive relic. This is just already... You know, I mean... For people who are familiar with the genre, this could be nice. Corrode 3 deals armor damage at the start of the turn. Oh, that's what corrosion is. Oh, you already have armor, you 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 bastard. As Tommy Wiseau would say, you bastard. Stance cards effects last until broken by taking health damage or changing to another stance. Okay. 
deal four damage to a single enemy. Uh... Deal one damage three times to a random enemy. That was pretty good. Just block damage. All right, so we're gonna power up Shinobi and deal three damage three times. Yeah. All right, um, Strum. And heal, or rather armor. Even though we had some. I, there's innate armor that these characters have that I've been ignoring. But my my red dude is charged up. Okay. Okay. Damn. There's not gonna be an after party tonight. This is a full on invasion. The demon warlords have come together. Very silly. And they're heading for the tower. If the Grona Caster is still up there. Then hell's gonna spill out of that portal again. And this time, there's no black metal smith or knights to stop them. You need to get your ass to the top of that tower and shut them down. Oh, there you go. Look at that. So I think there's probably other party members that you can use. But yeah, there's, there's, uh, look, I mean, the branching path. Look, we got branching paths. Bassists will gain power while raining down attacks on your entire band. Okay. We will kill that one. What are you planning on doing? Gain two power charges at the start of the turn. Huh. And dead. Okay, so then... I mean, you already... By the time you start the game, when you have four characters, you already have so many cards, but... Two weakness charges. Um, so I get to choose money or card. Get that. That card seems good. Free card to increase power? Sure. At the moment, this selection of paths doesn't seem particularly varied. It all kind of leads to the same places. Reckless basis built for lots of small random strikes. Oh, I interrupted the attack. And turn. Oh, that's just for this character. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Let's 
Yeah, that works. And we'll apply corrosion to this dude to eat away at some of the armor. I just finished, like... Uh... I just finished watching the Barry season finale. And, uh... The amount of times I said, fuck you, Bill, out loud... Yeah. It's very good. Very good! Let's let's kill the big guy while I have the power to do so. Really, um, like, just interesting storyline twists and turns that didn't feel unearned. Also, Bill Hader has become kind of an amazing director. A, a thing I like about that show's cinematography is that, for a lot of action scenes, the camera is just locked down. You get a nice static view of what's happening. It works for the tone of the show. I know not every show needs that. But also, you know, watching shows include After Effects camera shake plugins, and then watching this, it's like... A breath of fresh air. It's like, oh, oh, I can see what's happening and I can understand it. And there's like this flat, cold, detached view of what is happening, and I like that a lot. I, I appreciate that um, Bill Hader and the and the crew trust the audience to understand what's happening without having to to jazz it up. Shinobi needs a little bit of barrier. Now, the singer will take damage, but she can recover health. Also, fucking the acting is so good in that show. Not just from Bill Hader, but Henry Winkler. Like, the Fonz. The Fonz has so much range as an actor, it's it's kind of unbelievable. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. No Ho Hank is, is amazing as well. I mean, just the, the show, it goes back and forth between comedy and holy fuck. Pretty effortlessly. It doesn't feel forced at all. It just feels natural for these characters and this kind of like tone that was built by uh, the first couple episodes all the way through now. And uh, I just have no idea how they're going to keep this up for season four. But I am happy to find out. Anyway, we'll add a barrier. So it is a barrier. Uh, it's one of my favorite shows on TV at the moment, and uh, it is now done for this year. But I'm glad it still is getting more seasons. At least what we do in the shadows is coming back soon, and same for Better Call Saul, so that's, that's good. But man, for every lazy, fucking, pointless, zombie Star Wars show we get, or terrible Star Trek, which, by the way, the Star Wars stuff is at least, in my opinion, way better than most new Trek. Take a shot, I know. Um, but for every just like, oh no, it's fun, I enjoy it, but then I cried because I saw a character cameo come back, and I saw a forced emotional moment that is totally unearned by the characters. Foresight. Add three armor to a single ally and draw plus one card. Sure. 
But for every show that is kind of just bland, turn your brain off and just look at the things that are happening. Don't think about it too hard. Game plus one armor each turn. Cool. You can carry up to four items per band member that only they can use. Here cannot be moved after it has been equipped, so choose wisely. Okay, that's, that's, you know, something. I'm gonna have it be Shinobi. But between the boys, Barry, Saul, uh, other stuff that I can't think of. Even the new Stranger Things season has been really good, weirdly enough. Cowardly guitarists that hide behind other demons building up power charges. Oh. Malevolent singers who focus on ruining your plans by corroding armor, weakening your attacks, and amplifying the damage your band takes. Also, since these battles take longer, you can see that the map has less of them. Like, say the Spire has, like, double the amount, if not a little bit more, on, you know, the, on the map, but... These battles do take a little bit longer. So, it feels like its own game, in some ways. I can appreciate that. Recent damage received per hit. I guess I could get rid of armor. But otherwise, there really wasn't much I could do there. Three armor. An ally and draw. So we're going to add three armor to the singer. And then we're going to do life steal. And then deal five damage. Would have been nice to kill that enemy, but that's all right. Reduces the damage dealt per hit. And this is... Increases the damage dealt per hit. Okay. So that's why this dude is taking 8 damage this turn. So we're gonna need that barrier. Okay, that's the best turn I have, I think. Oh man, now I'm not taking damage. Th that shield was a waste. Also, I got the Kermit. I got the Kermit minifigure. And my life feels complete. I feel no different. Damn it. I will add a barrier. No damage this turn. This armor damage. What, what else do we have here? Uh, blocks one hit. Many damage. I still have the shield. That's nice. It's the damage dealt per hit. This is, um... Increases damage receipt per hit. Excuse me. And there's a there's a lot of debuffs and things. Deal zero damage two times. Great. Okay, we don't want to use that. Hmm. This is gonna be like a 
safety round. Throw some corrosion on there too. We will deal 8 damage to this bozo, which is a great word. And, uh, I guess I don't really need to do this, but... Just add some extra armor. I think the armor stays after the turns, which I'm used to slay the spire where the armor just goes away. health. Stop it. Get some health. Deal one damage three times to random enemies. Perfect. W was this a confused goblin? Stance. Gain one rage for each health damage taken by an ally. Randomly grant either two power charges or add three armor. So it's just random. I'll get C red. Heal one musician back to full health or heal the band. We only really need to heal the band. Oh, no, the map is longer than I thought it was. Remove a card from your deck. Gain plus one energy on kill. Team energy. I want corrosion on hit. So we're gonna, uh, put this on the red dude. And I'm also gonna get... Apply one, uh, start each turn with one drain charge and two power charges. Drain charge makes their spells more expensive. Oh, wait, no, it makes our spe our stuff more expensive. Uh, I'll just get the corrosion on hit. give it to the shinobi because uh, that you know character has has things I mean it's still shorter than slay the spires uh, map but not by as much as I thought it was but yeah these battles just take they take longer maybe it's also because I don't know the game well enough yet and I'm like generally pretty fast with slay the spire Powers up other demons, takes revenge every time a bandmate is knocked out. Start with the rage. And some nice corrosion damage, or corrosion. Get some armor. Oh, I could have used foresight instead. Uh, 
And I got an energy back because I killed someone. Probably gonna want to throw some corrosion down. Start chipping away at that armor. Deal nine damage. Okay. Not a terrible turn. I definitely need to be more aware of enemy intentions. And what the things represent. Because there's just uh, so many to keep track of. Which maybe it's too much too soon, but maybe I'm also being extra critical. I'm like hyper focusing on on some of these aspects that I'm not familiar with. But it's its own game. It's supposed to be different. Grant two power charges to a single ally. Use the damage it. So this is just gonna be a support unit. This one's going to damage. This one's going to damage. So Wow, deal 20 rage damage to a single enemy. For fuck's sake. Mental. Hmm. I'll play it safe. Oh, the barrier, it got through the barrier because it was a double attack. Arr. That worked out great. Draw pile will display all cards in the order they will be drawn. I don't really care about that that much. Maybe it's foolish of me, but even in Slay the Spire, I don't check the draw pile all that much. One of the things I do love about Slay the Spire is the ability to upgrade your cards. That's always a, a very exciting thing to do. So, I, I hope there's a way to do that in this game. I think I would enjoy that. Back in energy. Barrier charge. It's not going to stop all of the damage, but... Can also apply corrosion. Let's get some corrosion. And barrier. Just to help. Could have been better, could have been worse. Deal 6 damage. Deal 13 rage damage. We can now do 15 rage damage.
Good turn. Awesome. I do like the game. I think it is a very polished game. Prevents debuffs affecting ally team. So then you exhaust it. Try that. Can't have all attacks, right? Someone out there is like, Oonga Boonga, yes, we can. Chaos Repeater cards played by this character are played twice. Ooh. I'm gonna take some damage and charge up my red friend. Look at the amount of rage that was built up. Massive amounts of rage. I, I, you know, like now I do so much fucking damage, it's so worth it. Oh, that doesn't... Ah, oh, that was a waste. I thought a thing would charge up a thing it didn't. I wouldn't mind a card that actually heals my characters. Like, not just the one character. Inflict three corrosion to enemy team, deal seven damage to a single enemy, and heal ten health on kill. Yeah. Sure. That's the kind of card I was looking for. Build some corrosion and add a barrier. And I can use Reeve and get some health back and still, you know, get an extra energy, which is good. Uh... Hmm. Guess we will shield. Barrier plus shield would have been the right move.
Man, this character is debuffed like crazy. Gonna increase the rage. And hopefully we can start doing some big attacks. Well, the rage now outweighs the debuff, almost. Oh geez, we're all debuffed. Jesus. Not the best turn, but it's, it's something. I have to learn when my attacks interrupt enemies. Because that will be very important for my strategery. Hmm. I can't use Reeve. God, these debuffs fucking suck. They got one. Oh, uh, now that was interrupted. I think because I broke the armor. It is possible that breaking an enemy's armor is what interrupts their attack. Yeah, hit yourself in the head, brain damaged goblins! Permanent, permanent, permanent brain damage. Yeah, that was definitely the play. Okay, one more turn. Very good. Heal one health on a random ally each time a card is exhausted. Eh, I don't really have a ton of... ...exhaustible cards, I don't think. Well, regardless, I like this other card better. Especially because my red character deals so much damage. We're just gonna start with that. Gonna inoculate and uh, and some armor. Oh, the enemy team can have like the buffs. Like these little items. So, check this out. Oh man, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I can deal 10 damage to the entire enemy team. Now granted, it didn't kill the enemy team, but... 
it stopped many of them from attacking. Oh, that is like a broken ass fucking ability. some rage. Rage does reset when you attack, but now I have 13 rage. So if I get the thing that attacks everyone again, uh, I didn't get it, but that's all right. Darkest Dungeon influence isn't very much. Just because, like, it's not dependent on which position your characters are in. God, that's such a good attack. Cards with exhaust played by this character cost plus one energy and do not exhaust. Take the money. Got a store like right here, so. Double all debuffs on a single enemy. Deal two rage damage to enemy team. Deal one health damage three times to a single ally. Cleanse their debuffs. Add four insta instability charges to a single enemy. The damage received per hit. Every tenth card this character plays will be played twice. Gain ten brimstone coins when this character gets killed. Hold one choose one card to hold at the end of each turn. Yeah. I don't want to burn a card yet. Probably not the right character to give that to, now that I think about it. I'm assuming this is the, the end of the demo. So I figured I would just spend all of the coin. Massive Drummer enjoys throwing waves of minions at your band and they will destroy their own backup to gain power charges. I'm gonna save my barriers. Or at least some of them. Uh... Hold on to that. Yes. The hate flow!
gets his whip. Gains three power charges when this character slays an ally. Oh. Gonna take some damage here. If only I had C red. Now I have sea red. Just keep trying to corrode that armor. Uh, barrier. Oh, wow. Uh, a lot of damage to be taken here. I don't like that, but I think we can maybe break the armor. No, we can't. I don't think the power charges last. Let's see. I think it's only one turn. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, they decrease by one, so that's good. Deals 17 damage. Deal 8 damage. No. I'm just gonna see red again. And, uh... We'll do some... Some of that. I don't think it gains armor back, I'm not sure, but... We'll see. Barrier just in case. What, what are you doing? Summons two minions. Ah. Ah. Oops. Oh, that was the wrong attack. Not that it was me choosing improperly, that was just bad decision-making on my part. I wanted to weaken this enemy and then use Reeve and get health back. Or I can... Kill the oh yeah. Yeah, that works. Let's just kill the enemy team. Um I'm gonna take some damage to charge up my character. But I will defend Shinobi. Oh that that worked twice.
Nice. Extra rage. 21 rage damage to a single enemy. Beautiful. Oh! Ah, oh, I could have used instability. Well, no, I couldn't have. I couldn't have. Take some damage. Try to hope that I can use Reeve to get my health back. Oh yeah, I'll be able to get my health back. Wait, Reeve doesn't use rage damage? Oh, it doesn't. No. Oh. Well, shit. Oh, no! I can hold on to it a little longer. Next turn. Yeah. Definitely needed that. Deal one plus one damage for each point of poison and corrosion on the target. I forgot about that. Wasn't even considering that at all, truthfully. One or two more turns, that's it. I needed more cards that could apply poison or corrosion so that this shinobi could start doing some... some nice damage. Wow, I'm short one damage. Okay, well, we will live. So that took about an hour. Which, if this is one act of three... That's a lot. 
the musician has joined the band. Try our new guitarist, Ember. Let us know what you think. Only available in this demo. Okay. Full game to complete challenges, unlock new abilities, gear, and characters. We've unlocked some free ones for you to try out. Just curious to see what it, it is like. So, can I... Oh, it has to be one of, of each, like, type. This character is heat charges every time she plays. She can melt through demons, but if you don't cool down by the end of the uh, turn, overheat will keep everyone in danger. I see. A drummer, bass, guitarist, and singer. Well, of course, that makes sense. Where's the keyboardist? Man, just underrated, underrated part of a band. So this game is cool. I think, you know, it not being out yet, maybe there's so, uh, some time to work out a couple things, but even so, there's a lot here to enjoy. And it is a different pace. It is a different style of deck building roguelite. And I'm into it. But if there are three acts, which I don't know if there are, there's no indication that there are. The only reason I would even think that is because Monster Train and Slay the Spire. Um, but if there are, then an hour for that first act is a lot. So I think the perfect length is what I just played as one run, or, or maybe a little bit more. But um, yeah, it's fun. There's some interesting complexity and there's, you know, guitars and stuff. And uh, I don't know if this is going to stick with me like Monster Train did for that uh, short time. But if you're going to make a game in the vein of Slay the Spire, you can't do much better than this. Because it takes the things that really worked and does some different stuff with them and applies a very fresh coat of paint. And I, I think it's pretty good. As I usually say, but uh, mileage may vary depending on the person. But I enjoyed it and I would consider actually playing it again in its full form. Though, we'll see if I become addicted. I'm not sure if I will. Thank you for watching. And I don't know what this segment is going to be other than a number of demos. So stick around for just a minute. I'm sure there will be something else. Yep. You may recognize this alien. It's Destroy All Humans 2 Demo. So, granted, it's not like a little indie game, necessarily, but I really liked the first one's remake. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. How about that? Uh, what was I saying? Okay, well, uh, this is Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed. It is the demo, and obviously... I really enjoyed Aliens, and I enjoyed the first remake of the first game, and uh, so I had to check this out. It just dropped today, so here it is. As always, one must discover video options. We're gonna do a 60 FPS frame limit, and uh, everything here looks pretty good. Oh, DLSS, that's nice. I don't need the, you know, I don't need to prove that I'm a real gamer. Everyone knows they play card games. I'm a real gamer. Historical record of the original vision of the Furons remains near identical clone. The story words, images continue to be shocking to the modern human brain. Honestly, I think that's a good way to handle stuff that's a little dated humor wise. Like if people don't make that kind of uh, humor anymore, which is fine. Tastes change. People, you know, have different sensitivities. I think that's that's totally okay, but it's like Disney. You know, add a disclaimer. Thank you for Let people coming. know that it's a little Here's fucked up. Know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. And their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous. Unpredictable. Now, Deceased. Oh, that poor so, bastard. What has been problem? It 
problem, Cotter, is that neurons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium-138 into the White House. And the American people are not noticing? <laughs> nah, right. Pull the other one. <laughs> Even worse, what? What? this new what? crypto clone contains pure furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 30, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. Big These package. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. Hmm. And Big so package. Must. Destroyed. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna skip here because when this game comes out, I'm likely just going to stream it. And I wanna see, apparently people like this game, the sequel, better than the first game. Am I gonna need DLSS for this? Oh, I'm at a hippie festival. Uh, listen, we'll find out the context when the game comes out. Because by then I'll be, uh, I'll actually check out all the storyline stuff and I won't skip over it. Whoa. New artwork. The game looks really nice. Old LB, so that's for different powers. Uh, what was the... Only, oh wow, okay, I was gonna say, am I stuck in there? No parking anytime. Floating flowers, nice. These KGB agents are trying to fricassee my motherboard. Hurry up. Oh, there it is. There's the brain pop. I remember that. Pick up Mark Tiemens and drop them. Charge the mechs for stronger throws when you hold RB and then release to fling them. I mean, I don't remember very much about the first one. I mean, I remember the, the basics, but not how to play it. Looks like Beetle Lori! to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. 
I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my Holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. So I nearly broke my pinky while sleeping the other night. At least that's what it feels like. Um, I'm fine now, mostly. It's a little sore. What I, I ended up hyperextending it because I went to turn on my other side. And, uh... What was that, like, LSD? Was that a barrel of LSD? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that is funny. Let the sun shine. So yeah, uh, I it just I think I just hyperextended it and it got really like sore. I thought maybe I, there was like a fracture of some kind. There isn't. Only me though. Seriously. Still get brain. Can I can I give brain? Get brain. This guy is required. Not enough alien games are made with classic aliens like this. hippie bus. I, you know, I love my 8-bit though controller, but every now and then it just vibrates rapidly for no reason. Like, right now, it is stuck in vibration mode, and I don't know how to stop it. Happens a lot. Plug the controller and plug it back in for a second. Or if I switch it to a different mode, that works too. Who is this man? Once in a while I get like a little bit of a frame skip. I'm only using 16 to 20% of my CPU, so... You have to wonder where that's coming from, but, uh, you know, I, I can't help but notice these things, even if I am being a pain in the ass about it. Mental. And no, I never played the original Destroy All Humans 1 or 2. That brain. Thank you. I, I do enjoy levitating a KGB agent into another KGB agent, therefore killing both. What is this fake ass door song? That 
That's really good. What, what bands are these? Oh, the records disappeared. Did you see that? That sucks. I wanted to see the records. I saw a Beatles parody. I saw a Jimi Hendrix parody. Oh, the Scarabs? That is really funny. I like that. You cannot stop level Hang on, I want to see the, the records that are here. Scarabs. Um, arms, I think that's a help parody, right? There was the Jimi Hendrix one, but that's not here. Th this is actually a pretty good parody of The Doors. It's a very good Jim Morrison sound alike. So yes, again, I don't fully remember what is new or what abilities we had in the original remake, or, you know, Stray Humans 1. So, that's unfortunately not something I can compare without some reminders, but um, I'll probably end up playing this game live because I enjoyed playing the first game live. But it's a lot of fun. It just, like, bounces them into the ground. <laughs> Relentlessly. Oh, happy days! How many options this game gives you to attack enemies? Well, that wasn't a complete disaster. Now get back here. We have much to discuss. And by discuss, I mean I have your new orders. Roll on forever, babe. Roll on forever, babe. Well, that is just delightful. Understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the sh we, we, we'll, 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 we'll catch up on the story next time. Ashburians claim apocalypse. Police claim violent hippie performance art. <laughs> the cover-ups. This is wonderful, aren't they? Where have all the flower children Jeez, gone? Box. My head's still spinning. What the hell's going on? Frank, we need. Well, we'll just have to find out. We'll just have to find out when I play the full game. Consider this a gameplay demo. Let me show you 
Oh, we actually have to talk to them. Look at me Jeez, skipping the text uh, and then suffering for it. What a, what a surprise. Okay. You do? Yeah. Well, apparently there's one in four. They call it. I, just, I love that freak, it's a different huh? timeline. It's kind of a burnout, though. We go from, like, the 50s. I suggest you locate him and find out what he... Like, cheesy, um, B-movie. Flying saucers and men from Mars. To... <laughs> hippies. <laughs> What is this hippie device? Free love forces targets to dance. <laughs> to start a, par start a party, target enough humans with free love to force everyone to dance. Higher level, higher alert levels, it takes more dancers to start a party. Is that fake Jimi Hendrix? That is so oops. Oh fuck. Uh Everyone's dancing, we're fine. Pal. Hold X to call. Oh, because I'm using the 8 bit -to controller, which is like set up like a Super Nintendo controller. That always happens. <sighs> that happens a lot. Police dispatch, go ahead. Target eliminated. Call them all. Yes, sir. All units stand. Read down. the mind of a marked target. The freak is supplying the whole damn commune at the bar, and yet he still can't get any action. What a the fuck is going on with this vehicle? Uh, I don't think this is how cars work, even with a game that has aliens. In oh, okay. Oh, okay. If you say so, game. Okay, if you say so, game. Oh, wow. Where is it going? Oh my god. Well, it's a demo and the game's not out yet. Is... Oh, oh. Oh. It's finally back home. It's returning to its family. You can do it. You can get there too. You can get there too. I need another human for a dance party. Okay. Clean snatch. <laughs> oh my god. Action. 
Maybe I'll ask the freak for some tips when I get back to the park. He has to fight the chicks off. I hate going to the park lately. The freak is always there. He really creeps me out. Say so the uh the fake Leonard Skinner music is excellent. I wonder where the freak went. Probably up on the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. That hair graphics is so good. Wow. That is something else. The prince promised me some of the primo stuff if I visit him on the hill later on. Boy, boy everybody He's loves crazy, talking about this I freak. Love his fine Colombian. Easy. I know Kung Fu. You're fine. Man, that was funny. Watching that thing go into the ocean like that. Only hippies can vibe with the freak. <laughs> Oh, this is just... This is just wonderful, isn't it? I took one for the team! Gotta love her madly! That is just... You just get like a... Uh, an LSD rave dance party, and then you can vibe with the freak. <laughs> hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Freak, in all your drug-induced visions, I'm sure you've gained much, uh, wisdom. Hey, I'm just trying to find me Camino, man. No different from you. But I've fried my share of brain cells, that's for sure. Super. Which is why I seek your, uh, well, for lack of a better word, let's, uh, call it guidance. Right on, Seeker! What can I do you for? Uh, got any tips for dealing with the ladies? Ah, las chicas. You need patience, man. Patience, love, mutual respect. Peace uh, and love. Little grass doesn't hurt. Yeah, yeah, okay. But, uh, let's say you're not exactly the patient type. Isn't there any way to uh, close the deal a little faster? Being rich or handsome helps. Or if we're talking hippie chicks, you can go to jail for the cause. That pops them open like steam on an oyster. This sounds like a jail fake Bobcat Goldthwait. I don't get it. Is the fuck it pronounce that guy's last name? If you have to ask, man. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that I cannot clone myself. How do I live a long and healthy life? Sex, sex, and more sex. And if you can't be with the one you love, honey, love, love the, the one, one you're, you're with. with. Wow, you really are wise. You're boring the love beads off of me here. Let's talk about something else. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? 
What I hear it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. Which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is cat's got the chicks eaten out of his hookah. Bongwater's location, huh? Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bongwater? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a, in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. Okay. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bong Water says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like, the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Alright. I did definitely look at my phone through some of that, but I'm gonna make sure when I play the full version that, you know, I'm, I'm paying attention and everything. Because, you know, this is... I need to know about Coyote Bongwater. Hey, my scrub. I still don't know what caused that ambulance to go into the ocean, but that was just a brilliant moment. The vocal mixing sounds a little like Bowie. <laughs> it's just vats of acid all over the place. Yeah, maybe that was like a... I don't know if it was like a Yardbirds type parody, but I love these music parodies. White Rabbit parody, Jefferson Airplane. I'd imagine being hired for an alien game to like rewrite 60s songs in your own style. Wonderful. You seem a little fried. If this bongwater guy thinks he can buy my loyalty by handing out free samples of his own brew of mind altering substance on Ashbury Street, then he's right. It's all about the buzz, man. Amazing. Oh, the, this the frame rates thinks, in the distance look a little crusty. By handing out free samples of his homebrewed mind-altering substance on Ashbury Street, then he's right! It's all about the did, buzz, man! Did an ambulance just go through the building? Hang on a second. Is it, like, in there? Did they need to fix that. You know what? Don't. Don't fix that. 
But I seen it. I definitely seen. Okay. Okay. No one's even in here. Please do not fix this. Just, just let the cars stay fucked up. Far out, man. What you doing? It is time to dance. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing happened. Nothing weird there. Definitely didn't press the wrong button. Next week, we'll start one on one this shopping water? tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands on instruction in Kriyanish Potty, the highest state of tantric arousal. <coughs> These sessions can run 10 hours. So, eat a good breakfast. <gasps> That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Yeah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess <laughs> again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us. We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? These character models are excellent. Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Get <laughs> Run along, comrade. My men can handle these. Pacifists. What a crook. Mental. Remeter breached. Get bong water out of here. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Get bong water. Bong water is being in danger. Get him out of here now. What is this? Okay. I need to grab those grenades and throw them back at them. Yeah. You know what? Even if the demo doesn't end here, I kind of don't want to spoil too much more of it for myself because I'm getting this day one. Yes, the cars are bugged. I don't really care. I laughed. I enjoyed it. Oh, it's the freak again. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm gonna stop here. Oblivious humans don't call the police, I see. Yeah, this is awesome, and I am very excited to play this. I want to hear more fake 60s hippie music. Camera modes are always fun, especially when you have hippies and aliens. Somebody call
Call 911! Looks like he's holding up the alien friend. <laughs> Do the rule of thirds, you know? Johnny, I think you got your thumbnail right here. Oh, actually, no, since this is a part of a collection. Oops, I reset. All right, well, doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to stop here because I don't want to spoil too much. This game is great. The first one was great. I see why this might even be a little bit better. I'm not sure what mechanics are on the horizon. But the setting is wonderful. And uh, the gameplay is as good as it's ever been as far as I'm concerned. Maybe better. Who knows? I don't remember. But I like it. Can't wait. So, at some point, you will see a full stream of Destroy All Humans 2. It is the perfect game for me. Anyway, I guess that ends this segment. You know what? Yes, that ends this segment. That should be enough. Um, I hope you enjoyed a look at some of these games, some of which are you know, on the horizon, some of which are far on the horizon, but all of them had something to offer, and I hope that they're great. Take care, everybody. Thank you again. Uh -huh.